Welcome back to uh, the New City Catechism. We are going to be on question and answer number three today. Sorry for the delay in the video. Things have been a little bit crazy, as I'm sure they have been in your lives as well. Question and answer number three in the New City Catechism. What is it? Well, it's this. How many persons are there in God? The answer is there are three persons in one God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As we think about that, there are some analogies that we can use to kind of flush that idea out in our mind. And I, I want to be very clear getting into this. We have no perfect human analogy that helps us to fully grasp the beauty and complexity of the Trinity. But one way we can look at it is if we look at water. How does water exist? Well, water exists in three ways. It exists in liquid, solid, and steam. Let's go out into our great room and look at a couple forms that water exists in. All right, well, we're back out into our great room. And as I said, this is an illustration. It's not a perfect one. God exists in three persons, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And water exists in three ways as well. We have in this cup solid water in the form of ice, which you probably see outside right now in the snow. That's another example of this. But we also have liquid water in this cup. You can see that nice liquid water if you need a glass on a warm day. So we're going to head into our kitchen and we're going to see water in its third way, which is steam. So let's head that way. So we are in the kitchen now and water exists in a third way and that's steam. Now this is our coffee pot, but it also has hot water in this spout. I drink a lot of tea in the office, so when I go to do that, we'll see the hot water come out of here and hopefully you can see that steam come off the hot water. Now we saw that water exists in three different ways. Now God doesn't exist in three forms like water. He's one God, but he's three persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's the incredible truth of the Trinity, the triune God we worship. Paul says this in 2 Corinthians verses 13 through 14. And he's closing, he says, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In that verse, we see the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit working together, united in loving God's people. I want to encourage you today, or this week, and the next couple weeks to come, to take time to memorize this question and answer as we've done, as well as 2 Corinthians 13 and 14. And actually, to help you do that, we're going to have a printouts of this verse that you can actually cut apart and then spread out and, and kind of disassemble and then rearrange to help you memorize this important verse. Thank you so much for joining us for a New City Catechism question and answer today. God bless each and every one of you.